Hi there and welcome back to another edition of Mr. T's Industrial Tech Videos. This is one's designed for grade eights and I'm gonna show you how to use the bandsaw, some of the finer points, how to cut out your memo holder. So a couple of things about the bandsaw first. The bandsaw is used for cutting wood, metal, plastic, uh, they'll even cut meat. You go to a local meat counter at your store and you'll see it cutting there. So these machines will cut through bone, so you do have to be careful with them. Remember to always wear your safety glasses, wear your face shields, keep your hands away from moving parts at all times. So these particular band saws, uh, we've, I've done a couple of things to help remind you of some of the safety features and some areas to keep your hands away from. With respect to this bandsaw, one thing I've done is I've painted a few parts red. These two particular knobs here, this adjustment knob on the back, and this one up top. So what I have said is, or a phrase that I use is, red is dead. Don't touch anything that's painted red, those adjust the blade. But gray, as you can see, this one is gray, gray is okay to adjust. So what this gray knob will do is to adjust or allow you to adjust the height of your guard. So with the machine stopped, you're gonna hold the back of the post, loosen this gray handle, and that's going to allow you to raise or lower this guard as necessary. What this will do is keep your fingers from getting underneath that blade. You wanna position the lower part of this, this post just above your wood, just or whatever it is you're cutting, your wood, plastic, metal, and you just want it there so that the wood will slide underneath it, but your fingers can't get there. Once you have it in position, lock it in place, and you're ready to go. Now something important to remember is hanging on the front of these machines is a face shield. So I do want you wearing a face shield whenever you're using one of these machines, and of course, you always need your safety glasses. Safety glasses are a must, no matter what you're doing. So with the face shields, to adjust them, you put them over your head and tighten them with this knob back here, lower them over your eyes, and that way you're able to work and work safely. So at this point you've created your shape. Now one thing we did in class is we did a very simple shape with some simple straight lines. This will be relatively easy to cut because it has such straight lines. It's just a matter of cutting straight cuts in and down, in and up, and two of your angled cuts here and here. But perhaps you've chosen something that might be a little more complicated. Something that has some curves to it. So we've got a simulated teddy bear head here. When you've got this, what you want to do is you want to put your dotted line all the way around. And then once you've done that, anytime you have a little interior curve or an interior point, you're going to put a mark out to the edge of your wood. Those are called relief lines. You're going to cut them first, and that's going to allow you to do all the rest of your cutting a lot easier. So we'll just put a few more in here. Anywhere where you have an outside curve, you don't need to worry about cutting those or putting your relief lines in because the machine will do that quite easily. So these are going to be the first cuts you're going to make. And then what we're going to do is start removing parts of the wood. Whatever you do, don't try and cut everything all at once. Don't try doing this all in one cut. Chunk it. Take it in pieces and parts. You'll find it'll work a whole lot easier and uh, it'll be a little safer too. The on switch for these machines, one is located uh, on the side of the machine, for the other machine it's near the front. So we're going to get ready to cut here, put my face shield on and get ready to go. My, fir my first cut will be along the relief lines. So it's very important to remember to keep your hands on each side of the blade. You never have your hands in line with the blade. The blade is right in here and about the only way you're going to cut your finger is if you stick your finger in that blade as long as you have it adjusted correctly. So we're going to keep, my hand, keep your hands on either side of the blade, never in line. First things I'm going to cut are these relief lines. So we're going to turn the machine on, let it come up to speed, and I'm going to start by cutting this line. So just one hand on each side of the blade, go straight in. And then back it out. Do that for each of your relief lines. Get in as close as you can to the cutting or to the point where you want to cut. And if you don't end up cutting right on your 
line, it's not the end of the world. So now that I have these relief lines cut, I'm going to start to cut the rest out. So if I want to get rid of the rest of here, I'm going to start perhaps up here. Don't worry about trying to come into the relief lines and cutting from there. They'll disappear eventually. So come in from the side and take it a bit at a time. Follow your dotted lines. Don't try and cut on your solid lines. If you make a mistake and you're cutting on your dotted lines, it's no problem. Remember, the bandsaw does not turn. You need to turn your wood. So there's my first cut. You'll notice that piece has been removed. I'm now going to come at it from this side. And that piece comes away easily. Now I can take out this middle section. And you might need to go back and take a little more out. There we go. So I've removed this top section. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest. This particular part I'm just going to do in one curve. Remember, keep your hands away from the blade. If your hands are getting too close, you might just need one hand. Make that curve. Don't try and turn it too quickly or the blade may buckle and come off of the track. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I didn't quite get that curve perfectly, so I'm going to come back and do it again. Okay, so now in order to get this last part, I'm probably going to come in from two sections again. Keep your hands well out of the way. And the same thing on this side. And there we go. I have my shape cut out and I'm ready for the sander. So remember, if you need to get a little closer, go in and get a little closer. You don't have to try and do it all at once. It's better to take a little bit at a time off than try and take too much at once because you can't glue the wood back on, but you can always take more off. Let's head to the sanders.